Hey guys, what are you just let you know that Nokia finally have announced their first Migo device for this year and it is this Nokia N9, it is the LANQ, it is official finally, it is a 3.9 inch uh, AMOLED screen that it got with a resolution of 854 times 480 doesn't have this um, keyboard, doesn't have that bat button that iPhone 5 have, you know, home button. So yeah, they did something before, 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 before Apple, and that's obviously good. They come with two versions, 16 and 64 gigabyte versions, one gigabyte of RAM is boosted in this. Uh, you don't get a dual core, but you have to remember that this is an ego, so I don't think that you will need a dual core processor, but it is running on the OMAC. 3630 1 GHz processor and the GPU is a Power VR SGX530. You get both like GSM and WCDMA radios, Bluetooth 2.1, NFC GPS. You have a couple of buttons also, not like a home button, but you have this like a lock slash dedicated camera button. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but uh, then also like a volume up and down, obviously. And then a good camera, 8 megapixel, and the 720p video recording in 16.9 or 16.9. Yeah, that's that, that's very good. So if you're wondering about the battery time, seems like the battery is capable of, for music, 50 hours. Uh, sound like that, not, not that much, but uh, I think it's kind of like uh, the iOS devices. And the four and a half hours for 720p video. If you're watching that, 11 hours for GSM stuff. So that's obviously good. Wi-Fi obviously, and uh, yeah. So it is kind of like a cool device. So they have like uh, launched a lot of videos on YouTube. I will leave a link in the description to all of those good things if you want to watch the official stuff. But uh, I have to say, Nokia really do know how you make a beautiful phone. And you can see that it comes with three different colors, black and pink and blue. And I just love that it's so clean on the front, you don't have like a capacitive touch buttons, you don't have that big nasty old home button. And on the side you can see it's totally clean, you have three buttons, volume up and down, then like a lock or a camera button, I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but hopefully you'll be able to take pictures by pushing that uh, button there. So yeah, you'll be able to take pictures of yourself without having to... Yeah, it could be some problems when you don't have a camera button and you want to take a picture of yourself. It's hard to hit the touch screen if you do that. But uh, yeah, I love this phone. Looks clean on the back. You have the Nokia there, the camera like in the middle, and then you have the flash there on the left side. But uh, this is a badass phone. It's running Migo 1.2. And let's see, yeah, Harmatum, that's the version of Mega that is running. You'll be able to play games like Angry Birds Magic, and it's so cool that it comes with NFC, so you'll like, be able to pay with this phone in the future when this NFC technology is going to be more popular in stores. But uh, you have some pretty awesome apps that you'll be able to have in this phone, like Real Golf 2011, OpenGL ES 2.0, Galaxy and Fire 2. Obviously, you will have all of this uh, integration as well, like Facebook, Twitter, and RSS feed. So if you're new to Mego, if you want to you know, have a look at it, how it is, then I seriously recommend you take this phone. It's a quality phone, but I'm still waiting for Nokia to release their Windows Phone 7. It doesn't seem like it's going to release that phone in on the Singapore event, so that kind of sucks, but uh, still, good phone. Awesome. Let's see.